What Williams just announced is insane. Just as we all thought we would be settling down for a lovely relaxing week, slowly soaking up the festive period and cruising into the new year, F1 throws us another curveball. This F1 season was filled with one of the craziest silly seasons, with Vettel kicking it all off. It ends with Mick Schumacher still looking for a seat. Well, it now looks like the team principals are looking to give the drivers a run for their money, with Jos Capito added to the growing list of team principal casualties. Stick around to find out the latest from Williams and who will replace the much-loved German. Jost took over at Williams at the end of the 2020 season after the acquisition by Doralton Capital and had arguably the most challenging job of all team principals. He was bringing a wealth of experience with the peak of his success overseeing VW's motorsport division, dominating the World Rally Championship. He then had a brief spell with McLaren before leaving after a management reshuffle and the current CEO Zach Brown taking over. That left him with only one place to go as Williams came knocking at his door, offering him the CEO role left vacant by Simon Roberts. With initial success in 2021 rising to ninth, there was disappointment for Williams in 2022, falling back to 10th. The highlights came in Hungary and Belgium. In Hungary, Williams scored its first points in two years in a shocking result. There was further success as they achieved a podium finish at the rain-shortened Belgium Grand Prix. Despite these highlights and a limited level of success in 2021, the failings of 2022 appear to be too much for the new owners of Williams, with Jos being shown the door and Matthew Savage, the chairman of Doralton Capital, thanking Capito for his efforts at Williams. We would like to thank Jost for his hard work and dedication as we embarked on a major transformation process to begin the journey of reviving Williams Racing. We're grateful that Jost postponed his planned retirement to take on this challenge, and now he will pass the reins on for the next part of this staged process, said Savage. We would also like to thank FX for his contribution and wish him all the best for his future as he moves on. Jost, while disappointed, thanked Williams and said he couldn't wait to see them grow. It has been a huge privilege to lead Williams Racing for the last two seasons and to lay the foundations for the turnaround of this great team, said Capito. I look forward to watching the team as it continues on its path to future success. Both Williams drivers praised Jost for his influence on their careers. We've only had one year working together, but in that time, you were not just a team principal, but also a great friend, wrote Albon on social media. Thank you, Jost, for your faith in me this year and all the support that came with, wishing you the very best in the future. Sargent wrote, Jost, thank you for having the trust and belief in me throughout my time in the academy and helping me on my path to F1. He gave me an opportunity to show my potential and race in Formula 2. He has been a great team leader, and I wish him the best in whatever the future may hold. The rumor mill is running rife with what will happen to Jost and where he will go next. With Vassa heading to Ferrari, there does appear there is a quick return to the F1 world waiting, but having postponed his retirement to take the Williams job, the most likely outcome will be that of retirement where he can join Ross Braun and watch the F1 from his sofa. Technical director FX de Maison is also leaving his post at the end of 2022. Williams will need to be looking for a team principal that can cover both roles, and there is a particular team principal that has covered both these roles before, and he goes by the name of Mattia Bonotto. The recently axed Ferrari man would be the ideal man to replace Jost, with the Italian bringing a wealth of experience. He has also handled both the team principal role and the technical director role of Ferrari, taking them second in the title race. Rumors were circulating that he had decided and was set to join Audi. Audi will need to assemble a race day team consisting of a team principal and two drivers, and rumors have suggested that the team could play a significant role in reviving the careers of specific individuals. Matteo Bonotto, who recently resigned from Ferrari following a disappointing campaign, is rumored to be in talks to become the Audi boss. Bonotto has few options in F1, with Toto Wolff recently ruling out hiring the former Ferrari boss. I think there was too much porcelain broken between us over the last few years that this would be possible with the other teams. I can't say, certainly Matea understands Formula 1 inside out, and maybe he finds a role in a team. There are many out there that could be targets. With many believing that Bonotto needed to leave Ferrari, there is no doubting that he took them from nowhere to coming second in the championship, with his only downfall being the weight of what could have been. 
had there been less strategic errors. Now, this is where the confusion will come in. Does Matia wait for the Audi role and head up a team looking to challenge, or does he take the Williams role and see if he can pull off a miracle? Now, it wouldn't be a rumor mill if Gunther Steiner wasn't linked to the vacant job. We can gladly rule out the Italian out of this one. There would be no reason for him to move to Williams, mainly after he has just managed to get his driver lineup right. Now, one that would be awesome as if Sebastian Vettel was to overtake Williams. This would be a massive long shot, but the much-loved German would not be out of place. It could be what Williams needs, as he would be a young, hungry team principal wanting to succeed. Unfortunately, we are sure that Vettel is out of the 2023 season, as he wants to focus on other things. Still, one thing that is for sure is that we would love to see Vettel as a team principal at Williams, or even Ferrari. Speaking of Ferrari team principals, the long drawn out saga of the Ferrari team's principal appears to be over. With the most recent news being that Vassa has been spotted buying a house in Maranello, and the rumor being that he reportedly signed a pre contract in the summer. Ferrari only had one name on their mind when Bonotto resigned, and that was Fred Vassa, with a Sauber representative saying the team was not surprised by Vassa's move. Yes and no, if you get an offer from Ferrari, you have to go. Anyone who knows the history of Ferrari all the way back to the company's founder Enzo knows that team bosses usually have short lives, with one exception, Jean Todd, who was at the helm there for more than 12 years. Now, we all know that the Ferrari team's principal role is a poison chalice, with Nico Rosberg saying that he would never go to Ferrari if he were looking to win a title. The former Mercedes driver doesn't believe it will get better at Ferrari soon. Rosberg reckons Ferrari has a long way to go. I see lots of chagrin there, states the German in conversation with Sport One. It is incredibly difficult to fill this position, especially when I see what Toto Wolff is doing at Mercedes. For me, he is the best team manager and certainly one of the best of all time. To find such competence for Ferrari, there is no such thing. He even wondered if Bonotto was the problem. They just messed up last season. They did not develop as well as other teams like Red Bull said Rosberg. Now everyone is forgetting that with Vassa going to Ferrari, there needs to be a replacement at Sauber. When asked if he is surprised that the Frenchman is departing, Hinwil team founder Peter Sauber told Blick newspaper, yes and no, but if you get an offer from Ferrari, you have to take it. On the other hand, if you know the history of Ferrari back to the company founder Enzo, then you know that team bosses usually have a short life. As for who will succeed Vassa at Alfa Romeo, he agreed that long-term team manager Beat Zinder is a leading candidate. Beat is a phenomenon in this sport, Peter Sauber said. What do you think of Williams' decision? Should they have let Yost go?